Well, uh, Michael, obviously not the result you wanted out there, but defensively, uh, what would you make of this game? I think it's something that we get, get to build off of as a as a defense overall. I mean, we look back at the first half, we break the game down to two, two portions. The first half was great, a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of ups. It was a lot of ups, and I mean, as we look back at the second half, it was a lot of a lot of ups and downs. I mean, that's and that's going to happen throughout the game. The whole game isn't going to be like the first half. I mean, first game of the season, and and you see a lot of that energy, a lot of guys flying around with with a lot of that adrenaline. And that second half is time to focus in, and, and I think that's where we can improve at. But I mean, as a defense overall, this is a game that we can go back and look at and and improve on, uh, and look at ourselves a little bit and see what we need to prove on, improve on and what we missed during camp and training camp. Uh, and I mean, when you go against yourself so much, you don't get to see everything. And when you get a test like this, I mean, it, it really shows everything that you need to work on. And this is a great chance for us to do that. Now you have a, a very good offensive Utah State team coming up at home, but how much does it help going back to the Coliseum now? Uh, I think it's huge. I mean, going back to, to your home, uh, where you feel safe at uh, as far as playing, you're on your, you're on your home turf, home field advantage, and, and a chance for us to go back against another good competitor another great team and, and try to build on, on ourselves again this week during practice and go out and get our next test. I mean, every, every Saturday is a test for us, and, and during the week is, is where we prepare for it. And I think that's going to be huge for us during the week uh, upcoming as far as the defense is, is going back and correcting things from this game and, and getting ready for another powerful offense. As a captain of this team, how do you keep the focus now going forward into this next game? I think overall you just look at it as, as what this game meant. Did it mean anything? Not to our season. I mean, as far as a, us going to win a Pac-12 championship as the ultimate goal and taking each game week by week, I mean, this game didn't mean anything to our ultimate goal, but it's still something that we want to win as a team. And, and I think that's our focus right now. Me as, a, as one of the captains of the team, I mean, that's, that's where I have to direct these guys to, just getting an ultimate goal. Uh, as Coach Helen preaches. I mean, this game was a great game, a lot of build up, a lot of hype, and, and a great competitor going against the, the national championships from last year. But as far as us winning the, the Pac-12 championship, this had nothing to do with that. Justin, uh, what'd you make of the game out there today? Um, well, we just made a mistake here or two, and that turned the whole game around. Um, if you make mistakes, it's easy for the other team to get into the, um, just get the momentum going, and that's where it just took off. And just going forward, we need to learn that we got to play a good, solid game, no matter how hard um, the tide of the game's going. We still got to stick to our principles and stay, um, play disciplined football. You had a couple new quarterbacks in there facing a great yeah. defense, but what'd you make of Max and Sam? Well, I was very impressed by Max because um, given his first game being against the defending national champions, I think he held his own. Um, it's just some players, we got to help him out because um, this is his first game and we got to take the slack for um, for his inexperience, what so to say. Um, so we just got to band together and help him out because that's all we can do. Because um, he's doing his best out there trying to get the team together and we just got to play our part and help him out. Absolutely. What, what's the focus going to be on this week as far as areas of improvement for Utah State? Um, well, just bouncing back, just getting that mojo back, just, just making sure that the first game doesn't set the tone for the whole season. Um, we need to go in, just reevaluate, watch the film, and then move on. Um, we can't just dwell on this game because um, there's nothing we can do about it now. And definitely we need to set the tone and have better, better. Um, that's the whole vibe of the next game. So we, we, we got to forget about this one. You're one of the more experienced players on this roster. How do you help everybody keep their focus going into next week? Well, just to tell them that we got we got a whole season left to play. Um, we haven't even started conference play yet, so we're still we're still in the mix if people are feeling down. So um, the only thing we can do now is just try to just take it all out, take all our anger out on Utah State, and let's move forward um, because we, we we still have a whole bunch of good things going for us. We got a great team, and it's just um, people guess we 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 got to keep going forward. So what would you make of the game out there tonight? I thought uh, we didn't show, you know, we, who we were, who we've been all training camp. We, we didn't execute. We didn't do the things that we needed to to help our defense out. We played tremendous, you know, throughout the game. And we're going we're gonna to work on that this week. What are a couple areas we would like to see you guys improve in? Just execution in our plays. You, you know, we had so many opportunities where we could have score touchdowns or score any points where we, you know, we got within 50, 40 yards where we need to capitalize, um, just finish, basically, yeah. Max and Sam, what'd you make of them? I mean, I couldn't really tell. I wasn't really too focused on, you know, just the quarterback play. I thought they both were doing what they were told to do when they were in. 
But, uh, yeah, I couldn't really focus on them. I had to focus on my job. Right, you talk about focus now. How do you keep the focus this week in practice on Utah State? We just got to put this one behind us. You know, it's the first game. You know, it's out of conference. So it doesn't really mean too much to what, what our goal is in the Pac-12. So we got to focus on that and um, just keep our drive for going forward and, folk, and get better in practice. What was the message, if any, aside from that in the locker room after the game amongst the guys? That it could have been a, diff, a way different ball game, you know. That just that wasn't us, you know. And we got to accept that. We got to move on from that, and we got to go execute in, in other games.